Hi, this is Janos. Actually, it's Kintaro. It is real cat audio or real bird audio. We also have a machiko there as well. And and actually today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, a wonderful application that you can upload on to your phone. It's it's a free tool and and it's bas basically an oscilloscope for your phone so you can visualize sound with it and uh, do things so here I'm showing you my phone Let, let's focus on it and and the app is called sonic tools so when we click on it and it, it is it shows you see like a nice uh, breakdown of the frequencies so basically what it does it analyzes the sound that comes to the microphone input of the phone and uh, breaks it down to its sound spectrum and of course it has a microphone that is uh, a, a cell phone camera's microphone so it's not it does it's not uh, as linear as as a uh, as a true measuring microphone and also has severe issues in the extremes of the frequency in the high frequency and the very lows but i would say from 60 hertz to 16 kilohertz it's it's pretty much usable and and i would say that uh, based on experience it's usable down to about uh, maybe like 30 hertz or 25 hertz or so and if you flip it on the side it shows uh, a, a much better mode so now i have more uh, things to choose from more options and uh, first of all what you need to know is that on the bottom you can choose different functions and and the one that I'm using is the sound spectrum uh, you, you can click click on the scope so you, it, it visualizes like like an oscilloscope would pretty cool like or, or RMS so it measures the RMS energy of the sound that it's recording etc or info that shows the version info version 2.1.5 so let's go back to the sound spectrum and uh, always at the top it shows which is the frequency which is at the moment uh, is the loudest so the loudest peak is shown uh, up and and here you see a, a line uh, there, there's a horizontal line and there's a vertical line and uh, and then this one you can move around and wherever you move it it will stop at a certain frequency it will show the frequency there so it's 1218 Hertz and the DB value shows what is the actual DB volume of that frequency that you can hear at the moment and, and if you are curious of, of a certain frequency you can just drag it along and that white line shows that the energy at that frequency that we have selected so that's a cool tool so what else is here there you can select uh, what sort of measurement you are doing now it says RTA 112 so it means that it's a 12 112 octave smoothing so when it uh, analyzes the sound it puts the collected energy of the sound frequencies into bins and each bin has a certain width now you see that it's it's really tiny so you have loads of lines and exactly we have 12 lines per each octave so we can change it so if you you hit you it also has like a spectrogram mode uh, FFT which is like a fast Fourier transform so now it doesn't put things into bins just tries to show the actual frequencies and usually in FFT mode you often get a very different picture uh, than uh, compared to putting things in bins uh, RTA mode so now you see there's uh, only very few lines present we have one bin per octave and now 
we can go like uh, three beans per octave this is RT, RTA one third so it, it's kind of like uh, uh, what you would see when when you see loudspeaker measurements and they said like a third octave smoothing then this is the resolution that you are getting there and right now you see those uh, bins coming up and down and when you see the frequency graphs they just plot it with a line that they fit uh, a spline a mathematical model of a curve that would fit all of those bins nicely that's why it looks like a straight line and now we see bins but seeing bins is the actual uh, basis of measurement how you fill it out with lines that's not accurate this is something much more accurate than showing it with lines but as you see it's pretty crude so a one-third octave smoothing is something really crude and this is a one-sixth octave smoothing now we see twice as much and we can bump it up to 12 octave smoothing now we actually get uh, quite a lot of information from here and also this has a, a very nice very cool feature it's, it's called peak hold and when you click there then what it does it it records uh, the peaks so the loudest volume belonging to a certain frequency will stay there in that grayish bluish color in the background so if I go up you see all those peaks stay there so this is really really nice really cool and and you can do all sorts of experiments with it so for example you can listen to music and hit the peak hold and then you it will register for you what was the loudest volume that that it recorded at each frequency so um, of course this thing doesn't have a calibrated microphone so when it tells you that it let's say it's 60 db in real life it might be 55 db or 70 db uh, plus and minus 15 db it can be really anything because this is not a calibrated tool however the db scale is uh, uh, is basically it, it's a comparison so while the actual db for a certain value might not be uh, what what a calibrated microphone would show you but it will give you the relationship between two uh, loudness figures pretty accurately anyway so you don't need a calibrated measurement tool to make uh, educated guesses or to help you learn where each of the frequencies are so if you are listening to musical notes like ah and then you go ah so you can see the differences in the spectrum and and you you can uh, you can use it as a learning tool the, how what's going on when you hear sounds uh, uh, you can use it when you are visualizing the output from your loudspeaker what happens when you when you place it at different positions like uh, uh, at different places in your room when you are measuring how does the the bass uh, change and you can look for room modes going around your room and of course i will get a million comments saying that uh, you you have like much more complicated apps that can automatically do that for you yes of course however this video is not about those apps this video is about this extremely simple free app that anyone can download on their phone and have fun with it and 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 it's a great way to learn the basics of what this thing is and what it can do for you and and if you like it then you can uh, upgrade for uh, for more sophisticated software but as those of we will we'll tell you who are professional uh, sound engineers they can tell you that uh, if you are used to professional measuring tools then even a simple phone app will uh, tell you basically most of the things that you need to know and, and it will be useful for you and that thing that it's not calibrated so the db scale is not accurate who the um, cares 
because uh, what you want to do is just to carry your phone around with you you can whip it up anywhere and uh, what it measures in one place is comparable to what it measures in another place so for example if you take it with you to a concert and you measure the peak quad SPR then it will give you uh, uh, an idea let's say it was like a 95 db average and then you go home and then you listen to let's say jazz at the pawn shop and it said like 92 db average was the most that that you can uh, you can record uh, i mean you can listen to without clipping or without distortion then you know okay it, it might not have been 95 db but it was only 3 dB quieter than the live performance and then you can gauge it oh, okay that's that's about the, roughly the same magnitude as, as the live event versus listening to it and you record let's say like 65 dB level then you know that it's very different so it's a great learning tool that helps you to learn what is uh, quiet music how does it behave what is the uh, background noise level in your room? You will notice that it's not just like 28 dB or 25, but it's drastically different as you go uh, for and look for different frequencies. The noise floor is very different at 30 Hz compared to 18 kHz. And uh, it's just a really, really wonderful tool. And you can find a million uses for you to, to have fun with it. And I think this video wasn't so so interesting because I I have uh, Machiko she just uh, completely fell asleep during the making of this video and uh, so thank you for uh, watching and I really hope that you try this really nice free app and uh, have a wonderful day bye bye.